What's up everyone? My name is Larry Stone. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Headliner or Headliner.app specifically, a website where you can transform your audio to video. Quick, easy, and free. Stay tuned. It's coming up next. If you're a podcaster or a marketer and you've been creating audio, you know, for your podcast and you wanted to be sharing it out to social media, it's kind of cumbersome. Uh, you have to create a, a video file uh, and then upload it to social media. And that's what I've been doing. Uh, I use ScreenFlow specifically and I'd have to create images and play along with the text and, and switch out the images and when the different subject is talking about. And it just becomes very cumbersome for me. And I don't do it a lot because it takes up a lot of time. And Headliner, their idea is to make it a heck of a lot easier to do that type of thing with their own video, online video editor. So that's what we're gonna take a look at, how you can upload your audio and then on top of it, add in images, text, and also video that will play along with your audio. So let's get started taking a look at Headliner. Now, the first thing you need to do is create an account. And yes, it is free. And Headliner themselves have said it's going to be free. They have uh, some things in mind of what they're going to be doing to uh, monetize the app. But uh, from all accounts that they've said publicly that they're not going to be charging anyone even when they do start to monetize. So I like that right off the bat. And so create a, an account with them. And then when you're ready, click login. We're going to go over and we're going to create a new project. And as you can see here, I have already created a couple. So we're going to create a new project and I've already done an audiogram and I've already shared that out on Facebook. It worked very well. And uh, they also have something here called the automated wizard where you would upload your audio and they would try to match images based on your audio, which is really cool. And you can start with a blank project if you'd like. I'm going to start with the autogram wizard. So right off the bat, we are looking at uploading our audio file. I'll upload that one. All right, and again, this is only a five minute video, so everything's gonna go real quick for me, quick, quicker than probably your podcast audios. Uh, you can do an audio transcription if you'd like. And select your transcription language and then click next. And here we are having the timeline where you can uh, trim it down if you'd like. Uh, and you also have a timeline limit selector. So for uh, Twitter, it's two minutes and 20 seconds. Instagram is one minute. Instagram stories and all the like. So uh, if you click the buttons, they'll shrink down to how much time you have to put your audio into that specific timeline. So uh, I think that's a pretty neat feature, but we're not gonna do that. So we're just gonna expand that all out and we can click next. And now you have your different uh, aspect ratios for your video. So we have landscape, square, and portrait. Now, portrait now is all the rage because of IGTV, Instagram television. So I might do it in portrait. Click next. Now you get your wave bar uh, if you'd like. You can have none, of course, if you don't want one. But I think it kind of adds some of the animation, uh, keeps people interested if they see a wave file going across. And you have different choices here. You have around. You have curve, you have pixelated, and uh, what was the other one I liked? Was it was it equalizer? No. Bricks. Whoops, I clicked on the wrong one. Bricks. Bricks is the one I like. And you can change the positions if you like, or you can customize the position of your audio file. I'll do bottom. 
And you can change the color. I'm gonna choose a lovely green color that kind of stands out from the background a little bit. You can add in a background image if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna skip that, so I'm gonna click Create Project. So it's uploading the audio now. It'll take a few seconds for me, and again, if you have a longer audio file, it's gonna take a little longer for you, but this is gonna take about 20 seconds for me or so. All right, so they've uploaded the audio, which you can see down here in this bottom layer. And again, if you're not familiar with video editing, it really is all about layering. And so the bottom layer is the audio file. And this is how things are looking so far with our black background and our green bars for the audio waveform. And over here on the left-hand side down the bottom, we have text one, text two, and media. So the text areas, obviously, if you click on this little doodad here, yep. If you just mouse over this little doodad here, it'll say, you know, click the plus sign to add blocks. And it'll just add a text block. So let's do that now. And this is our little text block. And if we double click in there, we can say, this is a podcast. I know, very official. And you can move it around, you can position it anywhere you want. And you have styles here where you can change the, the uh, look. So we can do a custom, we can do a quote, we can do a title, we can go into customization. If we want to change the font size here, we can change that here. Let's make that 18-ish. Change the color, the size, the background, and we can do some transitions. So let's do a fade in from left and a fade out on right and click add to video. Now we're not going to see it right away because it's going to be fading in. So if I click play, you kind of saw it fade in a little bit right there, right? So if, it, if I just scroll across, see how it fades in? So that's pretty neat. Now you'll have this little bar here of your text and you can stretch that out as long as you want or you can make it as short as you want. And if you want to add in other text, you can click the button again, double click and say, this is still a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and we can click add to video okay and if we move that across here we can put it right next to the old one now it'd be better if I had moved this here this is our little scrub line this little white line here and so we can position in things here if we want to add things at that point in time on our timeline here so we just move that up against there so now if I move this across it'll change from this is a podcast to this is still a podcast, like that. So you'd go further along with this process. You'd add in your text, and if you wanna add in media, so you can add in images and video. So here's our images. Now they do have providers here for images. Getty, my guess is it's gonna cost some money. I don't think that they do anything for free on that end. I mean, Getty Images, they, they have lawyers and all that good stuff, so be careful with that. Uh, I know in Google, they say that they only search the Creative Commons uh, usage rights that you can do on Google Image Search. Uh, Microsoft, I'm not really sure what, that might be Bing, I think. And then of course, Pixel Bay, which is my favorite. Or you can just upload your own image or your video. The images can be JPEG, PNG, or SVG, and the videos can be MP4 and MOV. And you have a max file size, so be careful of that, of 200 megabytes. So these aren't gonna be huge <laughs> video files that you're gonna be putting on top of your audio. So that's all about the timeline and everything. The other point I wanna show you is the captions. Uh, these captions, are uh, automatically transcribed by, I assume, some type of AI uh, component. And so you'd probably want to go through here, probably like you have to do with YouTube sometimes, where you get, they get the word wrong or uh, it's not exactly what you said uh, is written down here. So I would go through the captions if you're going to use them and make sure everything is good to go. You can also change the style and obviously turn them on and off if you'd like. Change the style here. 
So you can have the default, you can have a bold description, so it shows up a little bit more, and you could have a centered heading. I'm gonna stick with the default. Uh, you can customize it here as well. You can change the font size, font color, highlighting, all that good stuff. And then they have animations where you can do like a karaoke style as they say here. We'll turn that on. And you can add in a color so that it will highlight the word as it is spoken in the audio. Let's do a little orange, orange type of thing there. There you go. And click save. Now, obviously, this is for demonstration purposes. This is not a complete uh, file that I would share on social media or anywhere else. So, uh, but uh, let's just go for it and let's demo this thing. We'll click on export. Now, when you click on export, you can change the frame rate up to 30. You can change the video quality, low or high, and you can change the vertical up to 1080 by 1920. You can also add in an intro and an outro if you'd like. Once all that's set, you click export. And this will take some time. Uh, in my testing, it's taken about a minute, close to a minute. And this is, a, again, a five minute podcast. So bear that in mind when you upload your audio and want to export it here as a video. It might take a little bit more time for you. So we'll come back to the video when it is done. All right, once your video has been exported, it'll have a little video is ready. And you can download it here. You click here and it'll give you a download and share option right from Headliner. And again, this is our vertical podcast video. Uh, we can download the video straight away. It'll obviously be an MP4. You can share the link right here. Uh, throughout social media if you want. Share it right to, to the Headliner app. Or you can uh, sh uh, store it in your uh, Google Drive or Dropbox. So there you go, guys. That was a quick look at Headliner, headliner.app. I think it's a very cool feature and it's something that I think will help me a lot in my business and in my security business to get the word out about the podcast that we've been doing for the last couple of months. And hopefully it will help you as well to convert your audio, your boring audio that only is for podcasting, which is great. But how do I get that to social media and video format? And that's what Headliner does. So thanks so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, make sure you click the like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you click subscribe and that bell icon, that pesky bell icon, so that you'll get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.